Welcome back to Outriders. In this video we are going through another titanium farm and this one was actually shown to me by Turtles and what I'm going to do is tell you the exact stats the Turtles had from doing it and then I'll show you exactly how to do it. So total time of 43 minutes farming it at world tier 14, 91 purples, 130-ish blues, 1024 titanium, 13,000 leather, Time per kill and to wipe is about 22 seconds, but he's not actually optimised for DPS. And for every epic, at least like two blues dropped, sometimes three to four. And it just, it seems to be a very efficient, simple sort of titanium farm, so I thought I'd share it. So what you need to do is come to the dunes, and you want to simply just travel there, get to the like camp. And then you're going to run up out of the little cave thing that your camp set up in. And you want to head to the right, it's a hunt that we're going to be doing. And once we get over here to the meat, we are going to, or the bone pie or whatever. We'll start tracking that quest, and then it's going to tell us to come over here. I don't know, we might actually get more because I'm doing it well tier 15. Not entirely sure, it might also be harder for me to kill the enemies. We'll have to see. My weapon's level 47, and obviously these are going to be level 42. I'm pretty sure they will because of world tier 15. I'm going to quickly grab that iron on the way. 426. Okay, the hunt's down here. So it's Hunter Horas, or whatever, however you want to pronounce the stupid bloody behemoth that we're going to be taking down. So we get into the area, and it's when we actually get to the end, we can just farm it. So I'm really hoping the devs leave us alone, and they don't... Yeah, the enemy's level 42. For whatever reason, though, they still take an absolute beating. I've almost just been one-tapped. It might be more efficient to drop a world tier or two. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to show you the, the base farm for the titanium, and probably die whilst trying... Because of that stupid screecher, will you leave me alone? Or Skyathan, or Syathan, whatever you want to call it. The bloody flying bird thing that's doing my head in. Right, freeze there for a minute. And then when you're ready to come down to the ground, you get on my way. There we go. Them birds are so powerful, it's ridiculous. And what you want to do with this one is just when your inventory's full, you just want to scrap it all. Or, I mean, you can you can let some go to your stash if you want to sell it or whatever. But it just means having to make your way through all of this again. Literally had a few drops already. And I'm pretty sure this is where the farm starts. I've never done this before. It's my first ever time. But I think it might actually be a little bit better than the spider boss one. Yeah, this is the area. So I've got to take out this boss... Who's not taking... What do you mean? My gun's five levels above you. Yeah, this is going to hurt. This is going to take me a lot longer. What I'll do when I wipe is I'll drop the world tier and see if I can do it faster and more efficient. This is a bloody mess. Okay, but it's these two behemoths that you want to kill. And then after you've grabbed the loot off them, you can hear all the drops and stuff, and you can see all the loot drop in. So there's... Well, there's a decent amount of titanium right there. There's two purples. Oh, there's even more titanium. Leather popping up. I'm definitely going to drop the world tier. I'm being battered. But yeah, that's, that's all you want to do. Take out Horas, and you want to take out the behemoth that drops in. Uh, quest map, world tier. I'll drop it to 14. So the enemies now should be... And there's ammo right there as well. I don't get the balancing in this game. I'm optimised for firepower, and I can't demolish these at level 41. My gun is 47. Okay, but there's the boss man down. It is, it's a lot. I, I might try it on 15 again. 
Just because if they're going to push me like that, I should be alright. Please don't die. I want to grab all my gear. There we go. So there's like, what? There must have been like 30-odd titanium there. A couple of purples coming in. I mean, you can... It, like, I don't think you get titanium from the blues. I'm pretty sure you don't. So if you wanted to just do this until your inventory's full up, then go and sell the blues. Like, keep de like deconstructing all the purples. Let me, let me bump it back up to 15. Because if I... There's a level 41 purple. Did I get a level 42 purple? Yeah, so... If I mark that and dismantle it, I think it will be worth... That's worth 10. I, I wouldn't take this as final as if to say, right, this is the world tier 15 one. I got 15. So let me bump it back up to 15 and see how much I get. I'm literally just going to deconstruct everything. Wait, let me do the purples first. Just to get rid of those. So I've got another 36 titanium. Very, very quick. And then the blues, I don't think I'll get titanium. No, you just get iron and leather. But you also get shards as well. So you can use this for shards too. So let me bump the world tier back up to 15. Uh, I've gone into the customization, not the world tier. Okay, world tier, bump back up to 15. Right, I think it's still going to be... I, I can use my healing and stuff. I, I'm still going to be able to do it on world tier 15. It might just be a couple of seconds faster on 14. But in turn, for taking that a little bit longer, you should get a little bit more titanium because of the world tier. Okay, so is that one of them down? Yeah, I can freeze the other one. Well, as I say freeze, I can ash it, keep it in place, uh, or maybe not. It's, it's still doing everything. Help. Help. Right, get the healing going. There we go. Boss is dead. There's a couple of purples come out of that. Quite a lot of loot. Let me grab all of this. One titanium there. Two purples. Any more titanium? No, I literally got one. It's incredibly inconsistent. I got one from just a drop, and then I got two purples. Which, when these little dudes kill me, please hurry up and kill me. Okay, we'll go into the inventory, we'll check it. So, from the purples, I got 24. So, now that's 12 each. And then the blues, I'll just get iron, leather, and shards. So that's literally all you do. You get a lot of titanium, other resources. It's not too tough, depending on your build and stuff. I really don't like the balancing of this game, just because I feel I should be able to rinse my way through this with the build I've got. But it is what it is. We can still farm it. We can still get good drops and titanium and everything. There we go. There's another one done. And that is going to wrap up the video. There we go. I've got 14, 25, 36. There we got 38 titanium that time. And the two purples. So now let these kill me. 25 titanium. Nice and quick. And it also builds up. You can eventually, like, you can sell leather and iron for scrap. If you wanted to keep the blues and just fill your inventory and some of the stash of blues, you can go sell it for scrap instantly. And then you can actually buy titanium with scrap as well. So this is a very efficient farm. I'm glad Turtle showed me. So what we're going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about it in the comments. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.